stroke victim who was leaving Los Angeles for Phoenix to be under the care of her family was denied a flight out of LAX when she showed up at the airport. An Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell found out why. She spoke with the woman's sister tonight and joins us live in Canyon Country. Amy? Ellen, the disabled woman and her sister and her whole family are really upset over this incident. She wasn't allowed to fly because a TSA in agent insisted that she talk, something she hasn't been able to do in years. No, oh, he just wanted me to make my sister talk, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, we're going to work a miracle right now. Sherry Wright is still upset about the way she and her disabled sister were treated by a transportation security official at LAX. 58-year-old Heidi Wright suffered a stroke 10 years ago. She's wheelchair-bound and unable to speak. Sherry took her sister to the airport on Wednesday for a flight to Phoenix, but they were stopped by the TSA because of her expired driver's license. I showed her her ID, her social, and her um, DMV uh, papers that she went to the DMV. Sherry says the agent was extremely rude. I was shocked and I was just standing there and tears was coming out and I was like, are you serious? I said, we can't get her to talk. The family is frustrated because an older sister waiting to start caring for Heidi in Arizona says she had called the TSA beforehand to find out what was needed. You know, she was really hurt and, you know, I don't know, she was screaming all at the airport. We couldn't, you know, we couldn't get her to leave. The TSA says it does have a program to meet the needs of disabled travelers. I think it could have been handled differently by the TSA and it probably could have been handled differently by the family and hopefully moving forward. the. And we won't have this problem again because they know about the programs that we have in place. Place. And because she wasn't allowed to fly, Heidi Wright had to make an eight hour bus trip to Phoenix. Reporting live from Canyon Country, Amy Powell, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Amy.